I told Brazy this shit can happen to him by the way he came out. He got out, got straight on bullshit. You dissing for Ness, you dissing Jay Prince Jr. and Mob Ties, Jay Prince. Still, you into it with the niggas in the hood that did that to your grandparents? You got finesse two times, brother? He running up on your mama? You gotta stay with that fire. You gotta ride dirty. You know, you fighting demons and shit, so you gonna get high. So, by you being high, what you gonna do? Improper lane change. Tag ain't right. Tent too dark. Not stopping at a stop sign or a red light all the way. Going too fast. Swerving. You see what I'm saying? Like, and then you got motherfuckers making phone calls. I told you. See, when you in tour with your own label, you dissing. Uh, 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 mob ties. You dissing all these rappers. Motherfuckers can make phone calls. They know you got it on. You got to have it. Because what you keep saying? I'm really like that. So if you really like that, you got to be really like that. You in really like that beef. I told you. You just like Gucci man. Run the buzz up, then you go back to jail. Run the buzz up, then you go back to jail. The difference between Gucci and Brazy, Gucci gonna stay out longer and he gonna lock himself in the studio and keep working. He ain't gonna be trying to be the stepper, the biggest game banger, hang out on the block all day, like just bullshit. Even though Brazy, you do got a strong work ethic, but he don't stay consistent staying in the studio. He got to go outside. He'll make five songs in a day, but the next day or the same night, instead of spending the night in the studio, he got to go on the block, ride to the stove. Like he everything. He don't want to miss a beat. Niggas going to the store, he want to ride. Niggas going to the mall, he want to ride. Like, niggas going to McDonald's, he want to ride. Nigga going to the ABC store, he want to ride. Nigga going to the plug, he want to ride. Bro, I already know how niggas is like him, man. He want to ride. He want to smell gas. And he want to sit in the back seat. He going to sit in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? Because he the type, if a nigga get out on the car, he want to fire back. He want to blow back. So he don't want to really drive. He want to be in the back seat, play the cut with that thing, with that fire on him. The way the nigga fire, he can say, nigga, I blow back. I did. My nigga was driving, but I blow back. You know, he going to come straight to the end of that. Nigga, I blew back. But yeah, man, J. Prince Jr., he can make a phone call. You never know. Not saying he did, but niggas that know that you stay strapped, you can have somebody on your team that let niggas know. You know, they still paying 5000 for a firearm, convicted felon with a firearm, $2,500, $1,500, whatever it is in Alabama or wherever you was at. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you ride with drugs and shit? Like, come on, crazy. You was just hot. You trending. You're trending. You know the white folks gonna sit you down. You ain't learn. They can tell. You ain't learn. You ain't learn, nigga. You had Birdman on your line. Birdman's gonna turn you up. This is why it's gonna be hard. You a high risk. You not. It's not smart to sign on the honeycomb brazy because he too active. Meaning he can't sit down nowhere. He can't sit down nowhere.
crazy. You know better. You do this shit every time. The police know you got to ride with that fine. They, they believe you. They believe you. They believe you. Your beef too real. Your beef too real. You been saying you been up and pulled on mob ties, all type of shit. They know you got the fire on you. The shit you been saying, you let it be known. Hip hop police, you know, you're an easy target. You're an easy target. If you wouldn't have went to jail today, another day, next week, next month, you would have went to jail. As soon as you start popping, see, the more you get popping under gun brazen, the more popular you get. Because you so, I'm really like that, so real. You're going to have to hide that fire even more. They gonna know you gonna have that fire on you. BET Awards, you gonna have that fire on you. Some type of big event, you gonna have that fire on you. Cause you know you talk so much shit, you know niggas gonna be out there, you gonna have that fire on you. You go to Texas, you gonna have that fire on you. Like, it is what it is, man, like. Saying like you can't get away from this shit, man. You can't get away from them jail bars, man. Just a jail nigga, man. Just a jail nigga, man. Like, got bad luck with that shit, man. Why would a label want to give you five million? And you gonna go to jail? Why would a nigga who got any common sense sign on the honeycomb brazy when you gonna go to jail? You gonna go to jail, and you ain't got no hit records. So you got a dark cloud over you. You got bad luck over you. You got bad luck over you. It could be your crew. You take yourself away from your crew and go lock in, go out there to California or somewhere, but you stay on papers, you gotta be over here. If you lock in, stay away from now and just run it up. Start thinking different. You get out, it don't matter. You can have a 20 million deal with Interscope, you still gonna think Alabama street politics, you into it with him, you into it with them, because you know the door you came in, and you know what the fans want to see. They want to see the bullshit. So yeah, you're going to show everybody that you really like that. You keep proving to the same fans, to the same niggas, to the same neighborhood, to the same ops, to everybody that you really like that. You don't need to be going to jail when you got niggas running up on your mama and shit like that. Nigga playing with your family. What you going to, you don't need to be going to jail? Get you outside riding, folks. Sit down somewhere. All you need is your drugs, your snacks. Get you a hoe or two. You good. An engineer, some beats, some gas. That's it. You can have a gun in the studio. You gotta have it like that.
shit over and over. Damn, my nigga. Keep doing four years here, five years here, two years there. Yeah, damn, homie. You can't even stand long enough to get you a million dollars. Come to the hood, they're like signing a death jam for 10 million. Or to Atlantic for 10 million. 